Doctors, welcome to this competency where you are going to learn something extremely important when it comes to your clinical practice. This decade is practically known for organ transplant, organ donation. And when it comes to these key medical pinnacle, we have to be very sure about one fundamental core concept called as brain death. So, irrespective of you being in first year or whichever year you are in your medical career, the knowledge and fundamentals of brain death is something extremely important. This is your practice. It has got medical implications, it has got legal implications. So, the knowledge is something extremely important when it comes to brain death. So, let us understand what brain death first and then we will go on to see the you know, criteria to call brain death and uh, what is its implication when it comes to medical legal factors. So, people, to begin with, what is all about brain death? When can you call something as brain death? Every time there is going to be irreversible, irreversible failure of irreversible failure of brain functions and in this word brain function there must be a subsection that should call brain stem functions. When brain stem is not functioning and when brain stem functions are irreversibly stopped which cannot able to recover through any mechanisms no drug or no amount of uh, surgeries or anything is not going to get the brain stem function back to working state that point is what is called as brain death why are we giving so much importance to brain stem because cardiovascular centers as well as respiratory centers are there in brain stem but sir heart has got SA node even though we take heart out of human body it still beats so why do we need brain stem to control heart of course the heart can act very independently and cardiac functions can be practically taken out of brainstem control, fine. But when it comes to respiration, without brainstem, spontaneous respiration is impossible. When subject is not breathing, when oxygen is not taken to body, when oxygen is not delivered to tissues, death will happen in 4 minutes. So, brainstem is extremely important when it comes to controlling respiration rather than cardiac functions. So, if there is a loss of brainstem function, especially irreversible loss of brainstem function, survival is impossible and that point is what is called as brain death. Of course, if there is a damage to brainstem and if brainstem is irreversibly damaged and there is no further recovery possible, it will immediately or it will inevitably leads to death. But this death is not because of any other reasons. All right, if it is brain stem that become dysfunctional permanently. We name this condition as brain death, guys. We name this condition as brain death. All right. So that's the basic definition of what brain death is all about. All right. Now, this definition holds true for two different determination. Number one, it is the definition that holds medically valid determination of brain death, also legal determination of brain death as well. So, for both medical as well as legal determination, we use this definition. So, ultimately, we are looking for brainstem functions and if brainstem functions are permanently out of order, there is no way to recover brainstem functions. It is that point we are going to brand as brain death. All right. Now, how are we going to, you know, ensure whether a subject is completely brain dead? What are all the criteria? We just learned what is the concept of brain death. All right. So, heart is fine, lungs is fine, organs are fine, blood volume is fine, there is no toxin, nothing, everything is picture perfect. But simply one particular segment is knocked away and that is going to be brainstem that finishes off everything. So, death because of brainstem dysfunction is what is called as brain death, guys. And, uh, you know, we do not use the word death there. Of course, it is death, but we do not use the word death just to ensure that the concept is very clear. All right, it is a brainstem dysfunction, right. 